Hello and welcome to this video in which we will discuss the concepts of variability, statistical thinking, and statistical inference. Variability is what we call the situation when I take subsequent observations of a physical phenomenon and those observations yield different values. So for example, I may be measuring the voltages in integrated circuits that I've manufactured to determine if those integrated circuits are working properly or not. And it may be that each time I measure a particular voltage across a particular set of elements in an integrated circuit, I get a different value. Perhaps the nominal value for this voltage should be 5 volts. Due to variability and differences in manufacturing processes and so on, sometimes this will be, when I measure it, it'll be 4.9 volts. Other times it'll be 5.1 volts. Sometimes it'll be 5.03 volts. The idea is that my measurements give me different values. Statistical thinking is the process I use to describe variability and to make decisions in the face of variability. So again, if I'm measuring the voltages in integrated circuits that I've manufactured, one thing I may want to do is describe the normal range of these voltages. Another thing I might need to do is use these voltages that I've measured to make decisions about whether or not the integrated circuit meets the specifications that I've created for it. In other words, can I sell it to a customer or do I have to scrap it? Statistical inference is the process of reasoning from data, and again the data has variability, to a whole population. And the idea is, for example, with testing integrated circuits, I probably can't measure every voltage and every current in the integrated circuit. So I take some measurements, and from these measurements I want to, to reason about the entire chip. Does the entire chip work correctly? And statistical inference requires that we have tools to deal with variability because again as we collect our data it has variability in it and we need to determine things about the real world. Again in the case of my integrated circuit I need to determine how well it works. So statistical inference involves applying tools of statistical thinking so we might use visual tools such as a histogram, a scatter plot, a box plot, or other visual tools to be able to characterize my data and sometimes to make decisions from it. I can also use sample statistics, say mean or variance. I can use these sample statistics to characterize my data. And I may be able to make decisions based on the sample statistics or on these visual representations. Sometimes, however, we need more formal methods of making decisions, and so we have the whole discipline of hypothesis testing, which allows us to take data and from that data make a decision that we can justify from a probabilistic or statistical point of view. So hopefully you found this video useful in better understanding the concepts of variability, statistical thinking, and statistical inference. Thanks for watching.